Hello, guys. Sorry for the delay. My computer was not cooperating with me and um, I couldn't get it. But thank you for being patient, for waiting. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Okay, good, good. I'm glad to see the majority of you. I will start by um, getting the attendance. So, uh, Christina. Christina, is Christina here? No? Okay. All right. Uh, what about um, Annie? Is Annie here? Annie? Annie is not here. Okay. Uh, what about Mari? Is Mari here? Mari? No. Okay. And Carolina? Is Carolina no, here? Va a ser de oyente, teacher. Me envió un mensaje. Dice que se siente mal de la columna y que tiene mucho dolor. ¿Quién? Carolina Hernández. Ah, Carolina. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, vaya, pero Carolina, um, vaya, eh, lo único que necesito que, que me responda, que está ahí, ¿verdad? Para poder ponerla uh -huh. en, 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 en la lista que está ahí. No sé si podríamos escuchar ahí su su voz, por lo menos eh, que usted diga que está ahí, presente. Y quizás todavía no está ahí. Tal vez se sí. ha levantado. Bueno, vamos a regresar ahí nuevamente. Ok. Um, Cristi. Presente. Ok, thank you. Welcome. Jorge. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Thank you. And Karen. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome, Karen. Thank you. And Karina. Karina. No, no, Karina. Okay. Leo, Leon, Leonardo. Present teacher. All right, welcome, Leonardo. Linda. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Linda. Thanks. Marlene. Present. Welcome, Marlene. Miguel. Present. Okay, welcome, Miguel. Nelson. Present, Miss. Okay, welcome, Nelson. Eh, sorry. Uh, Thank you. That's Nelson G, right? Yes. Okay. Nelson. Yes. Present teacher. Welcome, Nelson A. Norma. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Norma. Olga. Thank you, teacher. Olga. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. And Omar. Listen. Excellent. Okay. And um, give me a moment. Se me volvió a trabar acá. <laughs> okay. Uh, Suleyma Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay. Welcome, Suleyma. And um, Suleyma Melgar. Suleyma Melgar? No. Okay. And what about Tatiana? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome, Tatiana. Okay, I'm going to say again the names of the people I didn't hear. Cristina? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Cristina. Eh, Annie? Annie? Mari? Mari? 
Carolina. Carolina. Mm, todavía no está Carolina. Carolina. Okay. Um, Karina. Karina. And Sulema Melgar. Okay. All right. Um, okay, so class, we're go so that would be it. Um, acuérdense, chicos, si me pueden ayudar ahí con sus camaritas, encendiendo las camaritas para que todos podamos salir en el video, que ustedes han estado aquí, que no, no es um, solamente así un, un fantasma que está recibiendo la clase, sino que ahí están. Ah, hello, Carolina. Ya la veo. Hello, teacher. Ok, ok. Estábamos... Ahorita estaba un poco mal de la columna, así es que estaré más de oyente que, que en, presente. Entiendo, entiendo. Solo que la estaba buscando para poder um, ya ponerla en la lista, ¿verdad? Que usted estaba presente, pero porque necesitamos oír su voz, ¿verdad? Y, y ver su carita. Así ok, que, teacher. Okay, very good, everybody. Um, welcome to today's class. Thank you for connecting on time. I'm sorry that I took longer than I expected. My computer was not responding. Okay, um, chicos, uh, quería mencionar algo. Me preocupé un poco esta mañana eh, porque um, al meter la, las notas um, del reporte de esta semana, noté que muchos de ustedes no habían terminado la unidad 1 y algunos incluso no ha, ni han empezado. Entonces quiero saber qué pasa, en qué le podemos ayudar. No sé que, que hay, hay algún problema con la plataforma o no sé, um, algo que, que algún inconveniente que habrá. En mi caso, creo que hay solo una, no sé si es la tercera, que no puedo porque no sé si esa es la, la explicación que va ahora, pero no sé por qué es. Permítame un segundito. Tengo. Reduce the cost. La 1.5 de ser. <laughs> It's the same. Reduce the cost. Es la 1.5, que es la que, es que, la que se ha tenido problema porque no se entendía, o sea, no se ha entendido bien lo, y no se ha visto todo lo de, lo de Klaus. Está en Klaus. Lo vimos el día de ayer. Ajá, sí, pero uh, uh, no, I, I, creo que no, no todos no lo han entendido. entendido. Ajá, uh -huh. sí, claro. Yo les decía de que lo vamos a, vamos a hacer las prácticas el día de hoy. Pero sí, sí ya, ya eso vi... estaba esperando yo para hacer eso. Uh -huh. eh, ¿se, ¿Se acuerdan que les dije, verdad? Que por el tiempo no, no pudimos hacer todos los ejercicios, pero que se iba a hacer el día de hoy, ¿verdad? Eh, yes. Bye. Um, pero también estoy preocupada porque hay unos que no han empezado siquiera la, la unidad y otros que quizás solamente tienen como, al parecer, quizás como solo dos ejercicios hechos. Entonces, um, eh, por eso les pregunto si hay alguien aquí que está teniendo problemas con la plataforma para entrar o no sé. ¿verdad? Pero sí me, me preocupé porque no eran uno ni dos, sino que eran varios. Entonces, no sé, eh, ¿hay algo, algo, algo que, que quieran reportar? ¿No? Ok, entonces eh, entiendo, entendería yo que entonces podríamos ya terminar esta unidad, digamos, para el día de hoy. Si, si reviso mañana, ¿podríamos ya tener casi un 100%? Sí, teacher. ¿Sí? sí, lo que pasa es que yo, yo también intenté ayer, pero yo le ponía eso en el chat, que creo que si ingresamos la respuesta como incorrecta, no da como la evaluación 
y yo tampoco esa parte pues no, no la puede hacer, la 1.5 únicamente porque las, do, las otras dos sale como en verde el chequecito en la parte de arriba. Entonces ah, esa yo... Eh, perdón, perdón Tatiana, explíqueme nuevamente, en la 1.5 ¿cuál es el inconveniente? O sea que yo les estaba intentando pero que creo que al ingresar como la, la respuesta incorrecta y uno le da a enviar como está incorrecta, no va sumando el puntaje y no se va viendo como el progreso en la parte de arriba. No, y entonces la, ya no, no la, registra el, el progreso. Ajá, porque como está incorrecta. Y ah. como no podía terminar. Ajá, no, no. De verdad que no sabía ahí cómo, cómo terminarla. No, no podía como estructurar quizás bien la, la, eh, la, la reducción. Ok, ok. Uh, bien. Ok. Uh, ¿hay, algún otro, eh, ¿Hay algún otro problema en sí en la plataforma? Algo que ustedes, por ejemplo, pusieron, ustedes saben que es la, 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 la respuesta correcta, pero no les da la respuesta correcta. No, en la plataforma por mi parte está bien, solamente ese que fue el inconveniente, pero la plataforma en sí, sí, a mí sí me funcionó bien en una okay. persona. Ok, muy bien. Y todos Teacher, pueden. Ajá, sí. Sí, Jorge. Uh, the the 1.5 is the, is the problem because I, I don't know, I don't know if the answer that we put in the in the in the box is right always is is incorrect said i try a lot of options but okay. but it doesn't work doesn't work okay uh all right bye um hay alguien que tenga problemas para entrar a la plataforma como, porque como nuevamente les eh, mencionaba, que también me preocupé porque vi que muchos tampoco habían empezado. Entonces no sé si es que hay un problema ahí con, con eso. ¿No? Todo está bien entonces. Solo es cuestión de que entonces practiquemos. Eh, ¿Estoy en lo correcto? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. So we will practice today. No worries. We're going to practice. Um, and we'll see where it goes. Okay. So um, I'm going to start by um, projecting my PowerPoint, and you can tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Can you see my PowerPoint? No, yet. No, no yet. yet. Ok, sí, es que les digo que mi computadora está lento, no sé por qué. Así que eso les tenga mi paciencia. Ya les va. Sí, ni, ni yo puedo verlo todavía. Menos ustedes, solo de nuevo un momentito. Can you see it now? Not yet, teacher. No. Not yet. Okay, hoy sí, ¿verdad? No, teacher. No. Huh. You sure? Yes, teacher. Oh, sí. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. All right. Okay. Oof. Finally. Okay. Sí, como le digo, vamos a tener que tener un poquito de paciencia. Okay. So this is uh, strategies. Oops. Sorry. Strategies for testing new products, uh, new products conversation. Uh, this is uh, Jessica Guerrero. is your facilitator. It's the intermediate two. It's class number six. 
Okay, so this is something that we were looking at yesterday, the present perfect. We saw that the present perfect is used um, Okay, just, just a very quick review. Uh, the present perfect is used when we're talking about the past that is not a specific moment, okay? It's different from the simple present, sorry, it's a simple past because the simple past, we know exactly when in the past it happened. We know if it was yesterday, the day, if it was last year, we know if it was two hours ago. We know if it was when I was born. Um, we know that if it's, um, you know, uh, I don't know, when I graduated, et cetera, et cetera. So we know when it happened, okay? Uh, the other thing about, um, but it, sorry, but in the case of the present perfect, we don't know the time. Okay, we don't mention time. Even in Spanish, you think about it, if you say, is it possible to say, eh, yo he visitado Barcelona ayer? Can you say that? Yo no. he visitado Barcelona ayer. I have visited uh -huh. Barcelona yesterday or in past. Yeah, but think about it. In Spanish, is that possible? Can you say, yo he visitado Barcelona ayer? No, it's possible. No, right? What do you say in Spanish? Yo visité. Exactly. Yo visité Barcelona ayer. But no, yo he visitado Barcelona ayer. Si vamos a decir, yo he visitado Barcelona, hasta ahí lo vamos a dejar. Yo he visitado Barcelona. Period. The same thing in English. I have visited Barcelona. That's it. No time. We don't say yesterday. We don't say two days ago. We don't say five years ago. We don't say when I was little. We don't say anything. Okay. Is that clear? Yes. Yeah? Okay, good. And the other thing about the, um, the uh, present perfect is that we use it to, um, to talk about an action that may or may not continue in the present. So we really don't know if this action continues or not. It's a possibility. And I give you an example. I could say, for example, um, uh, for example, I can say, I have worked, um, I have worked at Ingles Corporativo for two years. I can say that. I have worked at Ingles Corporativo for two years. Now, this act action continues, right? I mean, I still can, in the present, I continue working and it's possible that in, in the future, I will continue working. But, um, and in this case, we can say a time because we're not talking about a time that it finished. We're talking about a period of time that it lasts for, okay? So um, we can say, for example, um, that uh, we can use for the questions, there are two forms that we can use. Uh, sorry. Um, we can start with the word have or has, right? Just like, like this one, okay? Okay, so the, that's, the, that's how we make questions. And then we use the past participle, which in this case is lost, and this one is sold, and in this one it's created. Okay, now to answer the question, we're always gonna start with the other, the yes or the no. Okay, the yes or the no. Okay. And if it's yes, we're going to either use um, have okay. um, yeah, so we either say have or has. So either one. All right. Now, if it's going to be negative, 
we're either going to be using um, ha haven't, right? Um, or, yeah, so haven't or hasn't. Okay. And in full form, if we're going to be using the full form, we're going to be using the past participle, in this case, sold, right? Um, or in this case, created. But remember that it's not very common to use the full form. It's more common to use short answers. So you're either going to say, yes, the subject have, or yes, the subject has, or no, the subject um, hasn't, or no, the subject have it. Okay, so either one. All right, so what we're going to do right now, we're going to do this individually. These exercises here, it says complete the statement below using the words and parentheses, compare your answers with the partner. So I would like you to complete these sentences with the correct form of the words that are in parentheses. So you're going to be using have and grow. Okay, now all of them here are have, but you may not use have. You may use um, has right or if you says it has the not in there then it would be it would either be has haven't or hasn't okay so let's finish that off individually
Okay, are you ready? Do we need more time? We need more time? Yes. Yes. I think I don't understand, teacher. What part do you not understand? Um, how to to complete the, the statement? Okay. Um, for example, here. Um, have growth. Like here we have, first one we have have and grow. So because the structure, because, because the structure is this, have plus past participle form, then we're gonna be using either have or has, and then the past participle of grow. What is the past participle of grow? Grow. Grown, exactly. So you're gonna put either have or has and then grown. That's it. Okay. Okay. Yes, I I respond in that way, but I think it's incorrect. Why? Why do you think it's incorrect? Mm. What makes you believe that? Uh, because all the all, all the, the statements are in the same form. Just to put the have it and the past parts. Yeah, it's that simple. No, 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 okay. nothing complicated. Mm -hmm. I know it's so simple that you think it's not possible, <laughs> but, but it is. That's uh, that's all it is. All you got to do is past participle. Sorry, have or has, or have or haven't, and past participle. Simple as that. The no brainer. Okay. okay. Thank you're welcome. Si a veces queremos hallarle. Como dicen en español, las tres, las tres patas del gato. <laughs> but no, it's simple. Okay, you don't have to complicate it. Very simple. Have or has, or negative, have, haven't or hasn't, and past participle. The most complicated part of this is, is knowing the past participle of the verb, right? So, for example, grow is, a, is um, irregular. So you have to know that it's in the simple past. Sorry, in the sorry, you have to know that it's not just like the simple past, but it's different. So you have to say grown, not growed, right? That's the most difficult part. Okay, how are you doing, everybody? Can we check? Yes. Yes, teacher. Anybody need more time? Yes. Me, teacher. You need more time? How much yes, more time? Teacher. One, two minutes? Five minutes. Five minutes. I think. Mm, I'll give you two minutes, okay? I'll give you two minutes okay. because we have lots of things to, to look at. And what I'm what we're gonna do is compare with our with our classmates. So we'll have enough time for that.
Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put you in pairs and I want you to compare your answers with a partner, okay? So I'm gonna stop sharing and I'm gonna put you into pairs. No se me vaya, no se me vaya, que acabo de ver que se me fueron de repente. Teacher, can you show us your, your PowerPoint? I need to uh, take a picture. Oh, sure. Okay. Okay. All right, so I'm going to give you five uh -huh, minutes thank because you. it shouldn't take you very long to do this, okay? So I'm going to give you five minutes to compare. You're comparing the answers. You're discussing the answers if there's something different. Okay, here we go. Let's open the rooms. Teacher. Mister. Hello, teacher. Hello. Teacher in Spanish. ¿Verdad que íbamos a hacer las oraciones y luego las vamos a como a leer cada uno y a comparar? Want to no. compare the answers. Yes. Compare with your partner. Yes. Answer. The yes. answer. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Karina. Is answer. Oh. Teacher, the libro, the manual. The answer that you just did right now. Ah, phew. No, Anderson. No, yes. Okay, Kawinam. Number five, complete the statements below using the words in parentheses, compare your answer with a partner. Uh -huh. The first is a lot of companies have grown. No, this is the pronunciation. Uh -huh. How grown? Because uh -huh. Uh -huh. I think, I'm not sure. Um, the other, um, what is a track? A lot of companies have gone because of where to nickel line. Number two. New mem members of a product line have Ay, no sé si se pronuncia así. Attractive, attractive new market segment. Thank you. Ajá, attractor. Ajá. 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 Attractor. Yes. New market segment. Mm -hmm. How decide, decide, decide you. To spam on our product. Yes. Okay. Number four. Some companies have yes plural. Some companies have have not or haven't. Some companies haven't success success <laughs> when launching <laughs> success. No sé si así se dice. When launching a new product, me faltó el chicle. A new product because of their lack of knowledge about it. Está, fall está fallando la red, lo digo entrecortado. Yo lo tenía como okay. half run. ¿Me escucha ahora? No. 
has grown. No, has sí, sí le escucho, sí le escucho. Has grown. Ah, ok, yo la, ten, yo la había puesto como has grown, pero me saluda a Os Company has grown. Has grown. Because, ok. ¿Y la segunda? Eh, la segunda, la segunda la tengo, new member of a product line, hair a frog. Have a tractor, sí. Eh, the next, we have decide to expand on our product. A number? A number three. Oh, I'm sorry. Number three. Have decide. Have Can decide. You? Igual. Okay. This area, some companies. Has not. Has not. Susie, Susie, no, no sé cómo se pronuncia. When launching a new product because of their lack of knowledge about the target audience. audience. Yes. Okay, number five. Uh, uh, have you ever? Have you ever? Bye. Both. 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 Uh -huh. Both. 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 How your company design is this Your company design it, design it. a good question, so let's ED as in that. Licenciada de ahí. Pero bueno. Okay. La number six quedaba the signy, the no, design. Por, porque es esta pregunta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. tenía... Yes. Ah, okay. Sí, es la que tenía. Eh, tenía ahorita duda. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Ah, hola, teacher. In number six, uh, we, we are talking about company. Is have or has? Has your company or have your company design? Your company is it, right? So it's simple, friend. sorry, it's third person singular. The company is it. Entonces quedaría, has your company designed any new product or, or service recently? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Thank you. You're Finish, welcome. teacher. Okay, great. We'll see each other back in the main room in a moment. Perfect. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Uh, maybe 10 years ago, I tried to learn to, to, to learn the verbs, but I don't remember. Yes, I practice every day for a moment but is <laughs> but it's very difficult, difficult <laughs> because in the work uh, all time
Okay. All right, guys. Um, so I'm hoping you guys are finished. Uh, anything you want to um, ask me or did you understand it quite well? Class? I think it's clear, teacher, but I, I, I think we need to know about the we need to know to know a lot of past part participle, past participle of all the verbs. Absolutely. Yes, I completely agree with you. Absolutely, yes. You have to know uh, your past participles. And not only for this for this structure, it, but the past participles are very, very, very important. Um, you will find that with the past participles, um, it, yeah, you will you will you will find that um, they're very important that you have to know them. So if you still don't know past participles, especially for the ones that are ir irregular, you must learn them. Okay, that's like very important. Okay. Yes, I okay. I try to 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 learn 10 years ago, but I forget a lot of verbs. Yeah, it's a matter of practicing, absolutely. It's, 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 you have to practice. The thing is that, um, it, yeah, you have to continue practicing, practicing. I strongly suggest that what you can do to remember is like make uh, these flashcards, okay? These little flashcards where you can put the word on one side and then on the other side, put the other word, okay? That, that is what my, my suggestion is for you, okay? Um, yeah, that's what I suggest, okay? Um, and that way you can test yourself. It doesn't matter where you're going, you can always test yourself. Okay? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, anything else that you want to add, you want to mention? Do we feel we understand it? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. In that case, um, let's check it out. Um, just give me a second here. Okay, I'm going to share. And you're going to tell me what you think the answers are. And I'm going to ask you guys to give me the answers, okay? So I'm going to ask randomly different people. So we'll start with Karen. Karen, can you help me with number one? Number one is a lot of companies have grown because of well toned new food lines. Okay, so you think it's have grown? Is that correct? No. He, ah, yes, yes. Yes. Or with with Dia and the end. Wrong. With D at the end? No. No. I, I guess not. No? No. Okay. All right. Let's leave it like that. Let's we'll, we'll check it out in a moment. Okay. Thank you. Number two will have um Suleyma Melgar, please tell me, uh, help us up with number two. A new number of the products line have a training new marketing segment. Okay, have what? New members of a product line have? Is, a, is attract mm, pronunciation teaching. Este attracting. Attracting? Mm -hmm. New market cement. 
Okay, uh, so Suleima like this, attracting? Yes. Okay, all right, thank you. All right, number three, Miguel, please help us out with the last one for, sorry, with number three. How sign? We have what? Side. The side. Like this. Side. Sorry, could you repeat Decided. that again? Decided. Decided. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. Our product. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Miguel. Um, okay. Uh, Marlene, can you help us with number four, please? Um, some company has when launching. Not past susceptible. What? Yeah. E E D E D. E D E D. Okay, like that. Uh -huh. When launching a new product because of their lack of knowledge about the target audience. Okay. Do you need a double E or is this okay like this? Um, the verb and add E D on the. Okay. So it succeeded. Succeeded. Uh -huh. Yep. Okay. Can you repeat that after me? Succeeded. <laughs> succeeded. 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 Yeah. Succeeded. Very good. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Um. Teacher, perdón. Tengo una consulta porque el verbo I es has. Um, I have, I, I, I'm, I'm right now. I'm not. Check, I'm just writing what you guys have told me, and then we're going to be checking the answers. Okay. I'm just, I'm just writing what you told me, and then we will check. Okay. okay. I'm not saying that it, these are the answers are correct. I'm just writing what you told me. Then we'll, we're going to come back and check. Okay. Okay. Is that, is that clear, Carolina? Okay, teacher. Okay, all right, thank you. Number five, we'll have uh, Christy. Please help us with number five, Christy. Me, teacher. Yes, yes, Christy. Mm -hmm. Have you ever both any healthy frequency product line? Did you say bot? B O O H I S T. Like this. Like, like that, Christy. Verb oh. verb in past the by. In the past, are you sure you want the past? Both. Both. Yeah, is it, is it past? The past or the past participle? The past participle. Okay, and what is the past participle? Both. How do you spell it? B O. B O. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. B O. Uh, oh, you, 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 D H T, G H T. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Bot. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. And the last one we'll have Nelson uh, Garete. Hello. Uh, number six. 
uh, how you company design any a new product or service proceed? Sorry, I repeat again, have your company design. Decide. Yes. Or design. Decide or design? Design. Okay. Like that. Yes. Okay. All right. Just give me one second, guys. Okay, um, all right, let's check the answers, guys. Let's see if, uh, if everybody agrees with what you've wrote, written. Okay, so let's look at the first one. Um, a lot of companies have grown because of well thought new product lines. This is correct? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Very good. Why? Yeah. Because companies is plural, so we use have, and past participle of grow is grown. Very good. Okay. Next, new members of a product line have attracting new market segments. Is this okay? Yeah. Attracting. Attracting teacher. Attracting. Attracting. Attract. Have what? Attract. Attract. Okay, if I say attract, it's going to look like this. Attract. Attractive. Attracted. 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 Yes. It's going to be attracted. Okay. Attracted. Why do we say have? Because new members is plural of a product line. So let's have. And past participle of attract is attracted. Okay. Eh, ojo con esto. Cuando los verbos terminan en te, o, o me dicho con, perdón. Cuando los, ver, cuando los verbos terminan en un sonido de te o de, Okay, como attract, or need, okay, or add, or complete. Entonces, cuando decimos el, ya sea el simple past o el past participle, tenemos que agregarle otra sílaba. Entonces, mm -hmm. decimos, no es solamente attract, sino que es attract, ted, attract, ted. Attract, ted. Yes. You have to add the extra syllable. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So okay. no es attract, es attracted. O es una, un, una sílaba extra que le agregamos. Porque attract solamente son dos sílabas. Attract. Pero aquí vamos a pronunciarlo con tres sílabas. Attracted. Tres sílabas. Okay. All right. Next. Okay, teacher. All right, good. Next. We have decided to expand our new product. It's correct. Yes, teacher is correct. Yes, teacher. Yes, it is correct. Yes, Why? Teacher. Because we say we, with we, we use a have. And past participle of decide is decide did. Lo mismo, ¿verdad? So it finishes in the sound D. No es que termina en la D, ¿verdad? Porque realmente the side termina en E. Pero el sonido es D. The side, did. Un extra, an extra syllable. The side, did. The side, did. Okay? The side, did. Yes, the side, did. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Some pump companies, 
some companies have succeeded uh, when uh, launching a new product because of their lack of knowledge about the target audience. Is this correct? No. 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 Some companies have. See it. Uh, haven't. Haven't succeeded. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, first of all, take into consideration that here we have simple, the, the, the verb in the, sorry, the auxiliary in the negative. Mm -hmm. So it should be Hello. either haven't Hello. or hasn't. In this case, companies okay. is plural. It's plural. Okay. So we say haven't. has, we say have, right? And okay. because okay. it's negative, we're going to say haven't. Haven't. Oh, haven't. Okay. Does that sound good? Good. Cool. So some companies haven't succeeded when launching any product because of their lack of knowledge about the target audience. Okay. All right, next. Have you ever bought, oh, sorry. Uh, re reminder again, the same situation with succeed. Succeed finishes in a d sound, right? So you say, you don't just say succeed, you say succeed did. Three syllables. Succeed did. An extra syllable there. Okay. Next, number five. Have you ever bought uh, any highly recognized product line? Is that correct? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, the right, right. yes, Okay, excellent. Yes, Number six, have your company designed any new product or service recently? Is this correct? No. 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 Yes. Designed. 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 Yeah, Designed. exactly. Remember that it, this one does not finish in a do or to sound. So we're just simply going to add, okay? The, uh, the, uh, okay, designed. Just design. Yeah. Designed. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's go for it. Is that okay now? It's okay. Yes. Are you sure? Yes, teacher. Are you sure? Teacher, yes, teacher. and the yes, can teacher. It has. Why? Uh, because it's, yes, it have you, it's your company, but I, I think we talk about the company, uh, right? Your company is it. The subject is it, right? It's it, it's has, right? Because it's, it's it, it's third person singular. So you don't say have, but you say have. Okay? Is that clear? Do we understand yes. why? Yes. Do we understand why? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Any questions? No? No teacher. Okay. No teacher. All right, perfect. Okay, so that's it. This is it for the present perfect. That should be um, now here for you. And, and you should be able to do these exercises without any problem. If I'm not mistaken, that's uh, 1.5. Yes. 1.5? Advert close. Reduce no. to advert close. Oh, no, no, no. No, that's 1.4 then. No. Five. 1.3. Yes. Five. The five is the Albert Klaus. Uh, uh -huh. I think it's one Albert Klaus. It's the other topic. Yeah. This is 1.3, I believe. Yes. yes. Okay, good. 
So oh. now we are clear where we should be clear about this. Okay, Good. so Good. let's clear and let's go on to the next topic that I also explained to you yesterday. Um, solo denme un momentito. Oh, solo denme un momentito mientras hago algo rapidín. second guys Yes, the second guys, give me one moment. Second, guys, me estoy. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So we're going to um, now explain, or better say, not explain, but review the reduced adverb clauses. So I explained to you yesterday that um, adverb clauses are when you have um, two parts of a sentence and one part tells us when something happens, okay? Um, how do we know that it's a, a time, an adverb time cl a clause, sorry, an adverb, Hold on. How do you know that it's an adverb clause of time? Um, how you know it is because it's going to uh, contain one of the following words. We're either going to use the word before, after, since, or while. Okay, so. Oh, sorry, guys. I forgot. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stop for a moment because I haven't taken attendance, um, and I had forgotten about that. So, thank you very much, Lima. <laughs> All right, um, I just I I didn't realize it was so late. Okay, so let's take attendance. Give me a moment. Wow, se ha pasado el tiempo rapidísimo. Okay, so we're starting, um, Cristina. Cristina. Present teacher. Okay, and Annie. Present teacher. And, uh, Mari, Mari. Present. Very good. Uh, Mari. 
I'm oh, sorry, no, Mari, yes, too. Um, Carolina? Present teacher. Good. Uh, Christy? Present. Jorge? Present teacher. Karen? Present teacher. Karina? Present. Eh, Leonardo? Present teacher. Linda? Present teacher. Marlene? Present teacher. Ok. Acuérdense, chicos, el, eh, encendan sus cámaras para, para tomar asistencia. Bueno, de hecho, siempre debe estar abierto, pero especialmente para asistencia para que podamos saber que realmente están allí. Um, Miguel? Present. Ok, very good. Linda? Ah, oh, no, sorry, perdón, perdón. Estoy yendo para atrás. <laughs> eh, Nelson G? Nelson G. Se me fue. Oh, okay. Something must have happened to him. Okay, Nelson A. Nelson A. What? Oh, ninguno de los Nelson is done. Okay. Uh, Norma. Present teacher. Good. Olga. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, Omar. Present. Good. Suleima uh, Rodriguez. Present teacher. Very good. Suleima Melgar. Present teacher. Great. Uh, and Tatiana. Present teacher. Solo, solo le iba a decir que cuando estábamos comparando las respuestas con Nelson, yo creo que a él sí le estaba fallando mucho el internet porque no, no lográbamos como, no, nos escuchábamos entrecortados, probablemente por eso no está. Uh -huh. Sí, me imagino que sí. Sí, de, de seguro está teniendo problemas eh, con el internet ahorita. Ajá. Pero gracias, gracias por decírmelo. Uh -huh. Bueno, bueno. Ah, con la excepción ahí de los que están teniendo, ah, sí, ya lo vi, ya lo vi. Eh, con, los, con la excepción de los que están teniendo ahí problemas de con el internet, quizás por eso no están conectados, pero de lo contrario, realmente tenemos full house. Ya todos están acá, so good for you, excellent, bravo. Ok, very good. Let's continue. Ok, so vamos a regresamos ahí a la PowerPoint. Congratulations. Ah, uh, yeah. Congratulations to everybody. Okay, so we have before, after, since, and while are the words that indicate that they are telling us when an action happens, right? For example, we saw that we saw yesterday that um, that in this one, will know is the verb, and the information about um the information about after we conduct the SWOT analysis is giving us information about when the action of when the action of will know happens right okay so what we do uh to be able to reduce the first thing is we what is step number one a ver si se acuerdan, son cuatro, son cuatro eh, pasos. ¿Cuál es el primero? Strength. We need to, to identify the subject. Good. Identify the subject. And what are the subjects? Eliminate the subject. Okay, but first, first we have to identify it. We. we, we, okay. We. So the subject is we here and in this one? What is the subject? We. We, okay. We. So because it's the same subject, we can we can proceed to reduce. Si no fueran, si fueran diferentes pronombres, no podemos hacer nada. Así lo dejamos. Nos quedamos en la etapa uno. Pero como en este caso son el mismo, entonces sí podemos... Seguir al siguiente para reducir. So what do we do to reduce? 
delete the subject. Good. Which subject? The number one or number two? We, number one. Good. We eliminate number one because it, that's we eliminate the one in the uh, the in the clause in the um, adverb clause. Okay. And then what do we do? Step number two. I add, add ing, ing. The bell. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry, step number three. I, I think uh, it's identifying the, if we have to, where to be. Wow. Where to be eliminated. Exactly, muy bien. So we have to eliminate, we have to identify if there is uh, yes. the verb to be exists. If the mm -hmm. verb to be exists, then we simply eliminate it. Does the verb to be exist here? Sorry, does the verb to be exist in here? No. No, so don't worry, okay? Seguimos al cuarto paso. ¿Cuál es el cuarto paso? Uh, yeah. Add ENG to the verb. Okay, add ing, not ENG, ING. Good. So what is the verb? ING. What is the verb? Conduct. Conduct. So to conduct, we have to add ING, right? ING. Right. Okay, there you go. And that's why in the end, we end up with the, the sentence after conducting a SWOT analysis. Okay, why? Because aquí ya están los, los cuatro pasos. Miren, primero hemos identificado el pronombre. Segundo, eliminamos el pronombre de el, de el Adverb clause. Aquí, si usted ve, no hay ningún pronombre. Ya lo eliminamos. Es la segunda etapa. La segunda, el segundo paso, perdón. Tercer paso, identificamos si había el verbo to be. No hay verbo to be, entonces no, hay, no nos preocupamos. Cuarto paso, a, a la, el verbo original, el verbo principal, le vamos a agregar ing. Por eso decimos conducting. Entonces, ya sería after conducting a SWOT analysis. Ok, lo mismo sucede con esto. Number two, right? Um, in number two A, here is the adverb clause. Sorry. Here's the adverb clause. Ok, eh, the, the verb, we identify the verb. The verb is need to go. Ok. And then we identify the subject. The subject is we over here. And we over here, so it is possible to eliminate. So we go ahead and we simply eliminate. Okay, that's step number two, we eliminate it. Oops, sorry. Okay. Step number three, we identify if the verb to be is present. There is no verb to be, so don't worry about it. We go to step number four, which is making the, or changing the verb, the main verb to the ing form. In this case, the verb, um, the, the main verb is make. So we're gonna add an ing. So we end up saying making, right? And that is exactly what we have in, this part right here we have before making a decision we have eliminated the pronoun the, the pronoun we and we have uh there's no verb to be we don't for, we forget about that and then we put ing for make it's making before making a decision now in number three however it's a little different first of all we identify the the adverb clause as before the new product product project gets a new uh, green light, okay? And we identify 
the main verb, which is still need, or sorry, uh, need to beat. Okay. And then we identify the the ver uh, the the main sorry the pronoun or the, the subject in this one it's we but if we notice in this one it's different it's not we it's the new product project right so if since we, it's different it's impossible to reduce so we finish there ahí nos quedamos okay ahí nos quedamos porque ya no se ya como no se pudo no se pudo identificar que los dos pronombres son iguales, entonces ya no podemos hacer nada, nos quedamos en el, en el paso uno. ¿Ok? Así quedaría la oración. Ya, yeah, exacto. Okay. ¿Ok? All right, sounds good? Yes, teacher. Ok, so what we're going to uh, do now is now that teacher, we... Teacher, yes? sorry. Eh, puede repetir lo que acaba de decir cuando no se no se repite que no es el mismo el el pronombre okay. en, entonces okay. ya no podemos no podemos continuar lo deja, tenemos que dejar así porque no se puede reducir ah ok ok all right so we are now going to go back to our same partner and we're going to practice uh, now that we understand this a little bit better, uh, we're going to, give me a moment. Okay, uh, we're going to do the activity, these exercises here. It says, uh, read the statements below, reduce the adverb clause to adverb phrase when possible. Notice it says here, when possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only when possible. Does that mean that not all of them will be possible? Okay. Yes. So remember those four steps. Deben hacer esos cuatro pasos. Uno, the first one, what is the first step? Identify the subject. Good. Identify the subject. If the, the subjects are the same, we go to step number two. If the subject is not the same, we finish. I, we don't, we leave everything as it is. Now imagine if it's if it's um, if it's the same. Step number two is eliminate the subject. Good, eliminate the subject from the adverb clause, not from the main clause, from the adverb clause. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Step okay. number three. Uh, Identify if the verb to be is present in the sentence. Yes, very good. Teacher, I, in this exercise, in, in this uh, condition, is we have uh, always, uh, for example, at adverse of time, before, while, after, and some. Si usted son, no reduce más todavía, está afectando la... No, no hay aquí algunas. Está afectando... Eh, What do you mean? En está oraciones serían... Eh, sentences, en son sentences, have no uh, adverb time, uh, adverb of time. Yes, there's all of them have adverbs of time. All of yes. them. I'll show you. After, before, and why? After, after, before. So all of them have uh, a um, all of them have a a connector that um, tells us it's, it's called actually a subordinator right that connects and it tells us it's about time but in the examples a uh, adverb time as uh, adverb of time uh, can uh, stay in the beginning no no not all the time only like it's just like conditionals it's it's the same it's the same it's the same thing if i say for example 
Um, eh, drink water if you are thirsty. Then saying, if you are thirsty, drink water. So it's the same thing as saying, um, I, eh, I have breakfast after I take a shower or I take a shower or um, after I take a shower, I have breakfast. It's the same thing. Okay. The only difference between the two is that if the, if the subordinator is at the beginning, then we're going to be, we're going to be separating the two clauses with the, with a comma. Okay. The comma, comma, and comma. But in the other ones, no comma. That's the difference. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, like I said, uh, step number three is uh, you identify if the verb the verb to be exists. If the verb to be exists, then we eliminate it. Okay. But if it doesn't exist, forget about it. Step number four. Add ing in the verb. Good. Add ing in the main in the main verb. Okay. Eh, debo de aclarar de que si el si el paso tres existe, no va a tener que hacer nada con el no va a tener que proceder con el cuatro. Porque el, el, verbo to, el verbo to be va a ser el, el, el verbo principal. ¿Ok? Ok. En ese caso, ¿qué haría como, por ejemplo, en, las, en la oración 5, can be, quedaría igual? No, ok. Remember, only work with the adverb of clause. Okay, but let, let's do this one together. Para que no se me confundan, let's do it together. Okay, what is the adverb of clause in this sentence? What sentence? What, what part sentence? of the sentence is the adverb of clause? The adverb of clause has a subordinator. The connector. That's the part that tells us when. After. After what? After what? What number? After the product development team finishes brainstorming. All of that is the, the adverb clause. Okay? So you're going to be working with this, not this. Esto no lo van a tocar. Over here, what's the adverb of clause? Before the manager, listen, listen. The, manager. the witness the of the company on a slide. Thank you. Uh -huh. Good. Number three. Andrew, keep text messaging while he was in a video conference about the proto prototype of the new product. What part is the adverb clause? While he was in a video conference about the prototype for the new product. But that's the part you're going to be manipulating. That's it. This part, no. Next. After they fail to produce positive sí, no. results in soft analysis. Good, analysis. Good. Only touch this part, not the first part. Next. After a Uh-huh. Yes. After a careful contingency plan to alleviate, then is designed. 
Good. That's the adverb clause. And this one, number six. Before you present a new idea to the manager. Thank you. There you go. Okay, so only touch the adverb clause. Don't touch the rest of the sentence. Si ustedes han notado, el adverb clause empieza con el subordinator, que es after, before, while, after, after, before. Okay? All right. So it's clear for everybody what we're doing? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. I'm going to stop sharing. Teacher, y en la cinco, entonces, ahí solo le quitaríamos el B. Ahí ustedes, o sea, no le voy a dar la respuesta. Ustedes tienen que, 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 um, que discutirlo con su compañero. Pero acuérdense que lo único que estamos tocando es el adverb clause, no lo demás. Solo el adverb clause. Esto es lo que vamos a reducir. Entonces, okay. esta parte de acá, it is essential to discard ideas that are not feasible. He had presented new products to help the company increase sales. Andrew kept the text messaging. Many promised Promising products ideas are ruled out. The weakness of a company can be just transformed into opportunities. You need to present a detailed list of costs and benefits. Esa parte no la toquen. Solo estamos reduciendo el adverb clause. Y ya identificamos el adverb clause. Solo trabajen con eso. Is that clear? Okay, teacher. Okay. All right. Okay, teacher. okay good. I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to put you into pairs. Once again, I'm going to, here we go. I'm going to give you 10 minutes to work on this. Okay. And let's open the rooms. <laughs> no se vale, no se vale. There's a problem. Hay que regresar a la, a la escuela. Um, tu vino. Um, ¿Cuál es el otro? To be so chat. Um, Al H N G no mm, before uh -huh. sería before listening the weaknesses of the company I think yeah. and number one no, the two. <laughs> you see, what? Sam? I the, the I number lost, one. Lost, lost. Okay. okay. <laughs> number two. Number two. Then say this. Before the manager. Uh huh. Um, three. Carry out teacher. before listening the witnesses. Uh, teacher. Not a la teacher. Uh, Hello, teacher. Hi. Teacher, um, Bear is in pass. Uh, uh, I'll um, change I'll, uh, A and G. No. I and G. No, no. Lo que le quise decir. El verbo está en pasado. 
Which one? Number two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, change. Yes. Uh, ah, okay. Thank you. Yes, this is before. Um, listen. Mm. Mm. Witnesses of the company on a slide. Hidden presence. New products to help the company in Christ sales. Yes. Yes. So we need. Hello. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. <laughs> um, while. while he was in video conference about okay but andrew kept that missing no no why no. ah okay see sí, porque he pero uh, andrew o sea, primero le pronuncia el nombre y luego le, le llama como he, como él. Entonces él, él es lo mismo. No hay problema. Okay. Entonces sí eliminaría más el he y el was. Okay. Entonces, ¿cómo quedaría? Andrew keep this messaging why in a video, video conference about the prototype for the new product. He was. No, he was. Como es teacher. Hi. Elin. Elin. Okay. Number four. Many promises. Uh, after a day. After. After a day. To be no. Um, many dice que producido los resultados fueron por positivos, ¿verdad? De la foda, de la análisis foda, muchas promesas de. Verb to be. Mm -hmm. there's, there's no, uh, there's no verb to be in the, in the sentence. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, as ing. Listen. Listening. listening, 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 the weakness before listening. And this, before, before listening to the witnesses of the company on a slide. Before listening the weaknesses of the company on a slide, he had present, presented new products. I'm sorry? The number three. Yes. Ah. But Number one, number one I think it, it's not possible to reduce. Exactly. Number two, before listening the witness. And number three, identify the subject. Yes, Andrew. Identify um, the subject. Uh -uh. Mm. No, why, why he was, he, the sentences start in why, why he was in a video.
Hello, what is Jorge. Right? I think he's having trouble. Jorge. Hello. 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 The internet is he doesn't work. The number three. Okay. Number three, uh, we Andrew keep the messaging while while in a video conference about the prototype for the new uh, because we eliminate the subject and eliminate the the verb to be. Uh -huh. He and was. He and was eliminated. Mm -hmm. uh, then the sentence is Andrew keep text messaging while in a video conference about the prototype for the new. He was in. Uh, I think we have to eliminate. He was in. Uh -huh. I -N -G. I -N -G. No, in, in this case, we can add ing because we, we are eliminated verb to be while. Andrew keep text messaging while a video conference about while prototype for the new product while video conference while a video conference what do you think I think yes but I have a duda, no duda. What? The sentences is Andrew keep text message, message why in a video conference about the prototype for the new product. Uh, yo creo que deberíamos de eliminar he was in. Yes, he is the subject. He was. And in. was the verb be. In. También pensaría que lo eliminamos. Y the verb in ing messages. No. En, en este caso no se agrega ing porque estamos yes, eliminando no. el verbo to be. Entonces, cuando se elimina el verbo to be, dijo que no, no hay que agregar ING. Uh -huh. ING. ING. Mm. Then, Andrew keep text messaging with, while a video call. Christy. In number one. Present of the tales. The, la, la number one is yeah, yes, the correct. After, <laughs> after, after the product uh, development. But it in, entonces. 
the product. Ay, bien, a la misma, hágame la, hágame la pregunta. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, what happened? Tenemos, tenemos problemas con la primera. <ríe> en este caso, lo que yo le entendí es que la primera parte... Ask me in English. Okay. Um, I understand that the first, the first part and after the product development team finish brainstorm, brainstorming mm -hmm. is the part uh, that I modificate. Modify? Uh -huh. and not, not modificate, modify. Modify. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. And the second part, not then. In this, in in, in this statement, the the su the subject is the product development, and not repeat in the second part. Uh -huh. In this case, no, we we not modify. Modify, dijo. Modify. Modify uh, the subject. Subject. No eliminate. Why? Because mm, no, it no is. Uh, no, no es no, igual. It isn't. It isn't. It isn't similar. Ah. Yes. I know. Uh huh. Yes. O sea, es que lo que lo que lo que yo entendí es de que, por ejemplo, en las seis que menciona directamente el sujeto como you, se repite dos veces, ahí sí podemos eliminar uno, pero en el primero eh, no está directamente así, sino que está de product development en it, en it, entonces en ese caso no, no tendríamos que eliminar el primero, yo lo entiendo así, no sé, right. estoy bien. Exactly. Yes, that is correct. Okay, in this case, the verb uh, to uh, add ing is finish. Yeah, exactly. Okay, in this case, seria after the product development team finishing, finishing brainstorming. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ok, dicha. Ok. Carolina, usted Thanks. tiene claro. Um, eh, no, eh, yo solo estaba ahorita pues escuchando. Eh, vaya, lo que yo había entendido, eh, le comentaba a la compañera eh, que según las reglas, como la primera dice que hay que eliminar el sujeto en la cláusula del adverbio y al verbo agregarle ing siempre y cuando no sea el verbo to be. En el caso del ejercicio, eh, yo identificaba como verbo development, pero la compañera hizo la corrección de que no, que era finish. Entonces, eh, y le decía yo a ella que entonces la oración quedaría eh, solo agregándole al verbo finish porque no quedaría, pues, no se le cambiaría otra cuestión de acuerdo a las reglas. Uh -huh. Yes. Eso es lo que yo entendido eh, y lo que lo que creo que podría que, que se debería de hacer según lo, lo que ella nos explicó. Right. So are we ready to check? Can we check? Can we check? 
Eh, eh, for, pues no. I don't understand. Peter. Can we check? Mm. Yes. Yes, teacher. Podemos revisar? Sí. Okay. All right. We're going to check. We're going to go back to the main room. Okay. And check. Okay. Okay, all right, we're gonna check the answers. Oops, sorry. Chiquito. Check the answers. Okay, everybody can see it? Yes? Yes. Okay, so we, the first thing that we did already, this is something that we all did. We identified the adverb of clause. So that means that we're gonna be working with this. Okay, now the step number one, step number one is to identify the subject. What is the subject in the, in the main clause? The product. The product. In the main clause. It. It. Very good. And in the adverb clause? The product. The product. The product. Development. Teacher, Teacher I think it's the product development team. Good. The product development team. Good. Is it the same? And no. No. So can we reduce? No. no, no. Okay, good. So we leave number one as it is. Number two, we already, before we identified that the adverb of clauses before the manager listed the weakness of the company on a slide. So let's identify the subject. What is the subject in the main clause? E. E. E, very good. In the adverb of clause? The manager. Is it the same? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes, it's the same. So what we're gonna do in this one is can we eliminate a yes or no? Yes. Yes. The manager. Good. Now we can eliminate it, but we're gonna have to make an adjustment. The adjustment is that instead of putting here, we're actually gonna have to write over here the manager because otherwise we won't know who he is. Okay, so we're gonna have to put here the manager. I guess we're gonna change the position of the word the manager. Got it? Do we understand? Okay, teacher. Yes. Okay, teacher. Yes. All right. It's a reduce then. Yeah, we reduce it here, but over here, we have the who is he. All right, yeah. we, we have to eliminate the, uh, the verb to be. We have the verb to be? No. No. So what That's we do is then go to step number four. Step number four is to uh, the main okay. verb. What is the main okay. verb? Listen. 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 So what we're going to do is we're going to change. Listen. Listening. Listening. We're going to change listed to to listening. 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 
Not not listening. No. No, listening. listening. But we are going to be doing listing. So before listing the weakness of the company slide, the manager had presented blah 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 blah. Yeah. Listen. Listen. No, 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 no. Listen, no. It's list teen. Listing. Listen. Listing. Listing. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Next, number three. Uh, and true. In this one, we identified that the adverb of clause was while well, he was in a video conference about the product. Sorry, let's change the color. While well, he was on, he was in a video conference about the type for the new product. Okay, first we identify the subject. What's the subject of the main clause? Andrew. Andrew. And in the adverb clause? He. He. Good. Okay, so is it the same? Yes. 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 So we're going to eliminate, right? Yes. Step number one. Yes. No, sorry, that's step number two. Step number three, we have to eliminate. Eliminate. Yes. Was. Good. Was. Eliminate was. So step number four is no longer necessary because we did number three. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So we're just going to simply say Andrew kept the text messaging while in a video conference. Simple. Okay. Okay. Yes, sure. Okay. Over here we have after they this positive on analysis. Step number one, identify the the subject subject in the main clause. Promises product ideas. Good. Many promising product ideas. And in the adverb clause? They. They. Is it the same? No. no. Is it the same? No. Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. They refers to the, prom the promising product ideas. So we eliminate, right? That's step number two. Step number three, we eliminate the verb to be, no verb to be. So we go to step number four. In step number four, we change the verb to the ing form. So failing. Okay. Failing. After failing. failing. Very failing. good. After failing. Okay, so this is going to end up being failing. Okay, so we're going to say many promise, promising product ideas are rolled out after failing to produce positive results in the SWOT analysis. Okay? okay? All right, next. In the next one, we identified that it was after the carefully con contingency plan to alleviate them is designed. Okay, so first, no, one, or the subject, what is the subject in the main clause? The weaknesses. The weaknesses, company. weaknesses of, of the company. company. Good. Next, in the advert clause? And don't have. Um, no. No teacher. Yes. There's always going to be a subject. A careful contingency plan. Yes. Them. To no. alleviate them. A contingency plan to alleviate them. Okay. That is the main verb. Uh, sorry, the main. So that is the subject. Is it the same? Yes. Okay. Is it the same? The same no. The yes or no? No. I think not. No, it's not. So because it's not the same subject, ahí paramos, right? We mm -hmm. leave it like that. We can change. Okay? 
Yes. All right, and the last one. The last one we said it was before you present a new idea to the manager. Okay, now step number one, identify the pronoun or the subject in the main clause. You. You, good. In the adverb clause? You. You. Yeah. The same, yes or no? Yes, yes. The same. So step number two is eliminate, right? Yes. Good. Next, we eliminate the verb to be. Is there the verb to be? No. 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 Okay, so we go to step number four. Step number four is to change the verb, the main verb to the ing form. What's the main yes. verb? Present. 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 Change it to presenting, right? Presenting. Presenting. Okay. So then the, the sentence is going to read, before presenting a new idea to the manager, comma, you need to present a detailed list of costs and benefits. And that's it. Do we understand it now? Yes, but the, yeah. the yes. more difficult is identify the subject. Yes, we have to identify the subject. If we can't identify the subject, it's going to be impossible to do. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Any questions? No, teacher. Yeah? Yes, teacher. I finally understand. Okay. So it's clear for everybody? Yes. 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 Okay. All right, guys. So that's going to be all. I am going to stop sharing and I'm going to do the last time for the um, for the uh, attendance. Okay. So, uh, like I always tell you, open up your microphone as um, you know the order in which you are assigned here in your uh, the list. All you have to do is remember when it's time and just open up the um, the microphone. So we're going to start with Christina. Uh, Christina. Okay. Uh, Ani. Present. Mari. Present. Carolina. Present. Eh, Present. Jorge. Present teacher. Karen. Present teacher. Karina. Present. Leonardo. Present teacher. Linda. Present teacher. Marlene. Present teacher. Miguel. Present. Nelson G. Present. Nelson A. Present. Norma. Present Olga. Olga. Omar. Present. Suleima Rodriguez. Present teacher. Suleima Melgar. Present teacher. And Tatiana. Present. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, so that's going to be it for today. Um, solo, bueno, hoy le tocaría a Jorge. Eh, and that's it. I'll take you, I'll, um, sorry, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Y por favor, hoy actualicen ahí la plataforma para que mañana ya esté lista. Voy a revisar mañana cómo nos, cómo nos ha ido. Okay? Okay. Sí, yeah, thank guys. you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Hey, thank you.
Okay, Jorge, ¿qué tal? How are you? Fine. Good. I'm just trying to, to learn English. Of course, yes, but you're doing great. You're doing maybe, everything. Maybe um, one day. <laughs> yeah, of course. No, you're doing good. You're doing good. Um, it's just, it's all about uh, determination. So you can do it. You can definitely do it. Um, so tell me, uh, what can I help you with? Uh, like the, the, in the, in the platform, maybe. Okay. What about the platform? In the platform, uh, I, I have problem with the 1.5. Okay. It's, it's the part of the reduced advert close to, to advert phrase. Right, okay. Um, okay, can you see? Yes, can you see it? Not teacher. Not yet? Not yet. Okay, let's just wait. Can you see it now? Not yet. Todavía no? Todavía está compartiendo? Tell me when you can see it. Let me... Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. I'm watching the... Okay, perfect. So, uh, so if we do this together, um, so you first first have you have to identify um, the subject. Uh huh. This no the ad, the adverb clause. What is the adverb clause? After they sang two songs. Right. So that's the part we're going to be looking. That's the part we're going to be modifying. And here. In the second one, before he answer, answered the phone. Right. And in this one, number three. While I was away in college. Right. And in this one here. When she is working at home. Right. And this one here. Uh, maybe, well, no, I think it, it's not possible to reduce. Although, mm -hmm. although he was hurt. Okay, although he was hurt. So those are adverb clause. Okay, so we then we have to identify the four steps, right? We, so we have to do the four steps. So the first, the fourth, the first of the four steps is identify the subject, right? What's the subject of the main clause? Uh, he. Right. The subject of the um, adverb clause. They. They. Can we reduce? No. No. no we can't. No. So the answer you're going to put here is going to be exactly what you have up here, because we can't reduce. I think I I make uh, like that, but I'm not sure. But I I I, I think. Uh, oh, wait a second! Wait, 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 wait. It's not he. It's que aquí estoy tapando una una letra. There we go. Okay, but, but the, the answer performance is it the same? The performers. Um, 
The performance, yes, is the same. Yeah. Very good, it's the same. So we're going to, what are, what's the next step? Eliminate day in the... Good, that's the first step. Next. Uh, next, identify if exists verb to be. Is there a verb to be? Uh, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist, so we don't do anything. We go to step number four. Uh, step number four? Add ing to the Good. main verb. To the main verb, what's the main verb? Thank. Good, so we're gonna change it to? Sanguine, sanguine. No. The ing form of, of saying. Saying is simple past, remember. Uh, What's the ing we, form of? We need, we need to add ing. Right. Sang. Okay, saying is a simple past. Uh -huh. What's the the verb in the in the regular form? Sang. Song. 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 No. No. I, I don't remember the cantar in English cantar cantando no in English song uh, no sing. just just sing. singing sing okay so so we sing and then we say singing singing okay there you go that's the answer okay 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 so there you go after singing yes the song the performers did a dance okay okay i i think i have the problem to identify the the subject okay but do it like this identify the verb the verb. The verb. Uh -huh. What's the verb in the main clause? In the second one. In the in the main clause. What's the verb? In the main main clause, grabbed. No, in the main clause. Oh. Dance. No. The verb. Uh huh. The, perform the performance did. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. That's the main verb. And in this one? It's the main verb. The main verb, sung. Right. Exactly. Um, right? So how do you identify the subject? Well, whatever comes before the the subject the the verb. So, what comes before the the verb? The subject. What comes before the verb? What comes the before saying? They. They. What comes before did? The performer. Yeah. So there you go. Ahí está. Así se puede identificar el sujeto, el pronombre. Okay. Uh, I, I need to identify first the, the, the main verb mm -hmm. in, the, in the adverb clause and the main clause. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me try in the second one. Um, before he answered the phone, uh, the sub the 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 main main verb is answer. Uh -huh. Exactly. He, he so, is the so subject. Exactly. Uh huh. And in the in the other part is grabbed. Right. Right. And he is the subject. Right. There you go. Okay. Así que no, no está tan difícil identificar el pronombre. 
right? If you identify the sub the the the, the action, main the main verb, then you okay. are able to identify the subject. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. Great. So um, let's leave it there. I think you can. You are possible. It's possible for you to do number two, three, four, and five by yourself. If you could do number one, you can do the other ones. Okay. All right. I just don't want to keep you too long because I know it's very late right now. So okay. any questions? No, teacher. It's all okay. I'm, I'm okay. Okay. Perfect. All right, so that will be all. Um, Jorge, if you if you have any more questions uh, that you want to review at the last week of this course, it's free, it's open. You can um, ask for uh, an extra time, an extra session. Okay. A session like. Yeah, like this one, the one one uh, session. You can ask for a, a, another one because the last week. It's open, like the, you, can, after, you can repeat. After or before the, the session or the class? Yeah, after the class, the session here, you can do another one. Oh, okay. Okay? Okay. 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 Any other questions? Okay. No, teacher, thank you. Perfect. All right, so that will be all, Jorge. I hope you have a wonderful um, night. Take care. Good night. Tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye.